Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here out in the park. There was another video I just did about filling in around your accent with one stroke. So this is your fill in. And I'm just doing one stroke. I'm doing molar, I'm doing rebound strokes or molar twos or molar threes or molar fours. Okay, so watch that video. But now I'm going to fill in with two strokes. So now we get kind of a, a side triplet. So that's called a backside triplet. So I'm doing my, my rebound strokes, just like with the first video. teaches you to do a, a double stroke by various techniques of dropping it and picking it up. It's not as loud as that. You could, but I want to hear that. I'm really concentrating on this. But now how do I get over to the other side? Remember, when you have a single stroke, there's your one fill in. You add another fill in. So that's a triple ball let to get over to the other side. So we added another single stroke. I added that to get over to the other side. Now, how do we get over to the other side like this? Well, I don't want to rebound. I want to get over to the other side. So I hold this down just like I did the other time and add a single stroke. All right, so now you get. Now what is that right, left, left, right? Left, right, right, left. I just did the opposite to get to this side. That's called an inside paradiddle because the diddle is in the middle. It's a paradiddle but shift it over so that the diddle is in the middle. Pair up diddle. Well, this is pair diddle. Ah, pair diddle. Ah, pair diddle. Ah, pair diddle. Ah, pair diddle. Ah. All right. Does that make sense? So it's an inside pair diddle. So you might want to practice that to be able to get over to the other side. So the inside paradiddle is great to get to the other side. So let's do that again. And then get to the other side. Get to the other side. Very cool. But what if we went one, we want to get to the other side instead of adding a transition stroke, add two. Now we got one, two, three, four, five. So we have a, a pentuplet. You can also think of this as one, two, three, four, five, six. A six stroke roll. One tap and a five stroke. So they call it tap five. And then you're on the other side. I'm putting a little space in there so you can, that's called a tap five stroke roll. Five stroke rolls usually have the the accent on the end. But here you got it. 
sure it sounds like a five stroke roll. It's just that the accents on the beginning of the five stroke roll instead of the end. So think of it as a five stroke roll that alternates. It's a very useful thing, don't you? To get to the other side. So we're going. See, that's a five stroke roll. Start it and then, and then it's gonna restart. You're just working your side triplets, and then you want to do a five stroke roll to get over a tap five. I think this is just very helpful alternating five stroke rolls or tap five stroke rolls. That's helpful in a lot of drumming. So, da 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 da, that's it. Inside parallel. What is that? That sounds very familiar. Probably like a drag tag. It is a drag tag. Drag tap, drag tap, drag tap. Just loosened up. That's a drag tap. That's a drag tap. I'm going to loosen it up. loosened up so that inside paradiddle is just the loosened up drag tap go figure so it's all a good chop building so I think it's useful to use both of those to transition to the other side so now remember molar 2 in the other video Now can we double that hand? There you go. So we're filling in with two strokes, but we're doing a molar two. I could go faster with my left hand. I can go so much faster. I can bounce this. Just do a, a, a. Just lifting my wrist up. I wish I could do that. So I'm just going. Dra, 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 dra. Just kind of. Keeping my finger, three fingers light, or just two fingers, three fingers light. So that's that idea molar two, filling in with two strokes. <coughs> Isn't that cool?
Now let's do a molar three and fill in with two strokes. hear that stroke. There you go. Something like that. So you're saying, when do you use this? Believe me, in your drumming, you, you have to have the skill set first or you won't even think the thought and it will not even happen in the emergency of the music. You know, music's just coming at you so quickly, unless the tempo is very slow or something. And if you don't have all these abilities, you can't even have those thoughts in your head. You can't think those thoughts. They're not going to happen in the music. So you want to be able to do, see how I mix them all together? Molar two, molar three, you can do the molar four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. I'm just counting one, two, three, four, 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 one, four, one, right? So you want to mix it all together. Do that on your left side. Don't favor just your right side. I'm really just count one, two, three, 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 one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So I'm just keeping track of my lead hand to know how far. But after a while, you just go by sound, right? You don't have to keep track of counting. So that is filling in. And so I guess when you master the first video and then master this second video you can kind of combine the three right the, the three and combine the two into a third right molar molar two and i'm going to do single fill-ins and double fill -ins. I'm just keeping this going and I'm messing around with my fill in. Notice I tried different rhythms instead of triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da, I did a galloping horse. Da -da -da. Or I can go da 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 so you, putting little spaces in there changes the rhythm, but it's still two strokes, right? So all that was just moving to the other side. There's a uh oh, I let that bounce. Huh. So I'm still working on this. I, it's it, learning how to be expressive. And so you're filling in with the other side, right? The other side. In the first video, we talked about odd phrasing. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But we went one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. We use single strokes. 
But now we're doing odd phrasing. We went one, two, one, two, three, single strokes, took us over to the other side. One two three four five. 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 That's getting to the other side in five eight five four times five sixteen. Odd time. Two three four five. But now we're gonna do single fill in, double fill in to get that one two one two three one two one. It keeps me on the same side. One two one two three 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 one two one two. Now to get to the other side, I have to go one two three. I had to use those single strokes we talked about in the first video to get to the other side. Say on the same side. Sounds like a rush song. Any progressive music. After a while, it just goes all over the place. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Same side. One, two, one, two, three. Now I'm going to go to the other side. One, two, one, two, three. There's the other side. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 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 One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, 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 One, two,
Uh, it seems like a lot of people want to go after my stuff. And that's not very loving. All the work, all the education, all the sacrifices, all the choices that I made through life to get me anywhere, and other people want to take that. They want, they feel entitled. <laughs> I'm entitled to take your stuff. Uh, but I didn't have to do any of the things that you had to do to get it. But uh, I'm going to rely on some government agency that wants to take my stuff away to give it to somebody else that didn't make all those choices. You know, I understand about mercy, but uh, a man shall reap what he sows. If you reap to the whirlwind, right, you reap the whirlwind. It's, it's cause and effect, folks. It's inertia and, and gravity and the laws of the universe. You know, I practice and something happens from practicing. How can I expect gigs? Oh, am I entitled to be able to make music without having any talent uh, or, or acquiring any talent? I don't think you're born with it. So um, you might have a, a desire and a propensity, but you have to apply yourself. My goodness, the number of the, you know, I've taught 5,000 students, 37 plus bands. I've, I've had so many teachers myself and uh, countless hours, countless in my drum studio here, everywhere. And uh, somehow other people feel like it, they're entitled. Oh, I can make great music. How come I, I, I should be entitled to make great music? I should get those gigs for, for just because I want them. Or I should get the money from those gigs just because I want the money. And, and, and I have my, my race card I will play. Or I will play some other card to where you feel guilted out to where you have to give me that. And I think that's, that's all wrong. I think we have to go back to merit. Personal responsibility and merit. Uh, level playing field. Everybody gets to play. Everybody gets to play, but if you want to play on the winning team, you got to practice to get on the winning team, right? If you want to win a trophy, do it like everybody else. Don't try to be, oh, I, I think I'm different. I should be able to do it like nobody else is doing it. <laughs> like I should just run around the whole pack, this whole uh you know, men and women's sports, women and men's sports. That's that's called taking shortcut. That's cutting in front of the line. That's like running around the pack. That's saying, I'm going to do it like nobody else has to do it because I'm special. I'm so special, I can just run around the pack. I can cut to the front of the line because I think I'm special. This That's bogus, man. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm praying for the, the axe, the pendulum to swing the other direction when we finally wake up. When the rest, when 85 and 90 percent of the normal people wake up and say, you know what, I want to be normal. I want to be the way I was created. And guess what? I'm not going to let you ram your crazy ideas down my throat because you feel like you're entitled to it. You feel like you're so special that you have to run your strange ideas, your uh, you know outside of nature ideas, and you're gonna ram that down my throat and make me, the other 85 or 90, 95% of the people, comply to your wishes, right? But hey, I'm waiting for the pendulum to swing and for 85 and 95 percent of the population to say hey man i like the way i was made hey see this you know i like the way i was made and i'm going to honor that and i'm going to work with what i was given like 95 percent of the people and i will be thankful and grateful I won't make any more excuses, and I won't try to cut in front of the line. And I am telling you, the 
who want to cut in front of the line, who want to break all the rules that everybody else has had to follow all this time, I'm going to tell you, you know, go take your crazy ideas into your closet. Go back into your closet. You know, hey, you can have your 5% little group and you guys can pat each other on the back and make each other feel good and salute each other or whatever you do, but do it on your own dollar, your own nickel, your own dime, and don't do it in front of me. Don't make me eat your food. Don't make me drink your drink. I think that's rude, it's inappropriate, it's not loving, that's for sure. It's not loving to make 85, 95% of the people comply to your uh, deviancy. Really, you're deviating from the norm. So what do you call it? Deviancy. You're, uh, you want to be outside, you want to be the the second uh, standard deviation outside the second standard deviation in statistics great go for it be outside the second standard deviation either side your choice but don't make me swallow your pill right don't make me do your drugs don't make me color my hair don't make me do and don't pressure me and don't judge me you know I'm tired of all this judgment uh, that I need to change what I've done for 62 years to fit for you? Give me a break. I think it's the other way around. I think it's the other way around. Well, there's my rant for the, for the month. I must be hungry. <laughs> That's what my wife would say. Ah, the, sun, the sun is pretty brutal here. So, I hope you got something out of that. Uh, don't beat me up on the comments. Uh, if you do, you're probably one of those five percenters that love to do that. So just remember, you're not in the standard deviations, two standard deviations on each side of the norm. You're, you're way out there on a limb being unloving and unkind. Um, I think we should all be able to speak our experience, but we shouldn't have to ram it down each other's throats and say you got to be just like me and I'm not telling you to be just like me I'm just saying leave me alone don't make me be just like you okay, that's all I'm saying so you know there's power in numbers and I and I think money I think there's a lot of people with big money that are kind of whacked I think it's all gone to their head and they they are influencing the world to uh, the world's ruin you know, money, not money, the love of money is the root of all evil. It says that in the New Testament. The love of money, the avarice, the greed, is the root of all evil. And I really believe that. It comes down to money is a way to get to power. And so it leads to a lot of evil. And every kind of deviance, it's what it is. Perversion, deviancy, whatever you want to call it. It is a altering of nature. It's an altering of the path. It's the altering of the two standard deviations that have been around forever and ever and ever. So, all right. Well, looking forward to hearing what you have to say. I hope you got something out of the drumming and uh, you can learn from each other. So, we'll see what happens. Bye-bye.